the landscape of making films, especially documentary films, has radically shifted in the last 10 years because of the instantaneous nature of how we consume media and the tweeting and commenting and social media and the Facebook messaging and it just, things go viral so quickly. And so as a filmmaker, y you have to be so much more careful before you turn a lens on something, before you decide this is the image I want to present. Because people just run with ideas. You know, I, I, I long for the day where people do take time. I, I, I wish people would stop, go to a film, watch it, have coffee with friends afterwards, discuss it. But people are like, you know, the light, lights come up and, you know, that, oh my God, I saw, you know, um, I saw, you know, it's, it's, I, can you believe I saw this video online? People, ha people have lost the ability to critically reflect on what is real and what is not, what is fake, what is, um, what, what is reality. And so it's more important now than ever as filmmakers to really, really stop and do that reflection for yourself because for the most part, I don't think the audience will. I look for manipulation in, in ways that are visual in how they kind of present somebody as a villain or, um, or as a hero, overtly so. Um, uh, you know, I thought if I, if I had a criticism of making a murderer, they tried to present Stephen Avery as the, kind of this common man who has been mistreated and they kind of gloss over the fact that, well, actually, he's done some pretty horrible things. You know, when I, when I think of films that, ha that didn't do that, when I think of films like The Invisible War, and here they just let, you know, a handful of women just tell their stories of sexual assault in the military. And they just, they let it, they let it be nakedly, emotionally raw. You can't argue with that. When it comes to making films, I, I believe the concept of objectivity is, um, is ridiculous. I would tell anybody when you're watching a film and you feel manipulated, you start feeling it in your gut, somethings, you probably are. Um, and the other thing from just film techniques in documentary, I'm always suspicious of heavily scored films that are cueing me to feel sad now, feel happy now. It's like, okay. Documentary shouldn't have to do that. Your subjects, your story should be able to take me there very easily.